Hi, this is Soul Nirvana Spirituality. Welcome to my channel. Namaste. I have um, a candle wax reading I'm going to be doing for the month of September. But whenever you see this reading, it's timeless. Um, so we have two bowls for you to pick from. We have the white bowl with the green candle. And then we have the green bowl with the white candle. And um, I want you to take a deep breath with me. Focus on the bowl that you resonate with the most. And we'll be back with your reading. If you like this video, if you like this channel, please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me or want more information on my other readings that I do on other social media platforms, those links are in the description box below. I want to send all, love to all of you, new and old, uh, that are coming to this video. And have a wonderful month of September or whenever you see this. Eight weeks from when you see this is going to be what these messages are for around that. So we're going to start with bowl number one. I want you to take a deep breath while I fill the bowl with water. here I get it looks like a little mouse so somebody might be very shy and timid maybe somebody that's here at the reading or afraid to say or do something right now and I feel like it's because of shyness or timid timidness timidness is that a word being timid and up here, it reminds me of like when you see a child uh, do a sun on the corner of their paper. Um, so I get like whatever you've been going through, the sun is coming out soon for you. It's like a fox here. With the fox, I get um, some kind of slyness. Maybe that's why you're being timid or somebody around you is being timid because there's a fox in the situation here in some way. I also get a kite. Um, and with the kite, I got Benjamin Franklin. I know that's what... Didn't he fly the kite with the key and stuff like that, so... Something is uh, going to be shocking or uh, like high energy. I see a lamb, so I get gentleness. I also get, um, you know, like Jesus and, and the lamb and just... Like just a sense of gen gentleness and spirituality from that. I see a snowman. Something might happen during the winter. If you get snow or winter months, a giraffe, 
So I get from the giraffe, a lot of these are cliches and sayings from somebody sticking their neck out, either you or somebody else sticking their neck out for somebody else, sticking their neck out in a situation. I get like a, looks like a go-kart or one of those little like dirt car, dirt cars, like if you're into racing. Um, they look like super modified cars. They're like little race cars, but they, they're the narrow ones um, that have the tails on the back. I think they're dirt cars. I don't know what else they call them. But they, they race around in a circle or in the dirt. You know, like a super modified. Yeah. And they have the dirt ones that I used to have a dirt one in when we used to race. Um, yeah. Um, so something might happen really fast. Well, you're into racing. I'm actually not into racing. <laughs> but I used to be involved in racing because of my life situation. So I do know a little bit about them. I raced all over the country for years. I didn't actually race, but I was there. Get the number eight, might be significant. And a bow, so something fancy with the bow. Um, and I get like a, a, a gift bow, not a bow and arrow bow. Um, and this is like either something fancy, a celebration, dressing up, or a present of some kind. I get a fish over here. Someone might like to fish or like seafood. And if you if you do like seafood, I'm getting like a message that you need to eat more seafood. Um, like a pescatarian type diet or something. I get somebody, it looks like a woman it's like in one of those beds, like a hospital bed that goes up and down. So be careful of your health. I feel like, this, I don't feel like it's the person that's here for the reading. It might be somebody that you know that you might have to take care of, like an elderly parent. They're gonna be fine, but they might need to rest for a little while. And like, as I said that, the hospital bed, like the, the way the candle wax moved, it, it sat the person up. So they're healing, they're in the process of healing. If that resonates with you. I get a heart over here, so love. looks like one of those masks like they wear in Venice um, around the eyes so somebody might be wearing a false mask with you in a situation or Mardi Gras you know Venice or Mardi Gras with a mask maybe with Carnival or something like that and I don't think it relates to Carnival I feel like somebody is wearing a mask with you or not telling you the whole truth about something or holding something back from you And over here, it looks like four or five people sitting in a circle. I get like figureheads, like one, two, three, four. Like a meeting, a very important meeting is going to happen about something. I 
And it looks like a finger over here. So I get like either the number one, that's weird, not a middle finger, but a index finger, or somebody's like pushing your buttons. I don't know where I get that from. And see over here, this energy over here, that's something that needs to be cleansed. Um, that is, the candle is green, so I get the heart chakra. So you might be getting over a past hurt of some kind where it's so close to the heart. And, you know, you just need to release that. Um, rose quartz is very good for self-love, do some meditation and healing on clearing negative energy. There's all kinds of videos on YouTube, on Spotify that you can do. Um, and, you know, some are 10 minutes, some are half an hour. Some of them, some of the meditations, they'll go for nine or eight or nine hours. So you can listen to them while you sleep too, um, if you can handle that. Like, I know when I put on one of those long, meditations that sometimes during the middle of the night I'll wake up and it'll be I'll be like startled by it so I have to shut it off but they are very good one of them that's really good is the green Tara meditation and then the other one I can suggest that she does Reiki um, is Reiki Rachel she has a lot of nice meditations on there too um, good vibes um, is one a good friend of mine does a lot of great meditations, Joseph Alexander Ovidi. Um, there's several on there. There's a, another one, I can't think of the name. Um, just to find something. Um, the other really good one to sleep with that has the earth noise is the Schumann Resonance. And that puts me out like a light. It's like the sound of the earth rotating or moving in space. It's fantastic. It's not a bad noise. It's very subtle, but it's in, and I like to listen to the rain. But anything that med makes you focus on something else that helps you clear your heart up, I suggest like the heart ones, the ones for love, for clearing emotional blockages, uh, releasing pain and negative energy. And over here, it looks like a horse running. So I feel like something fast is gonna come into you. Maybe it's about this meeting. Maybe it's about your love or your love life. Or about that person that's healing, that's sitting up. So recovery or something. But whatever it is, I feel like you need to cleanse your heart out. Your heart might be taking a toll right now, or it just has. And I don't get physically, I get more of an emotional thing. I'm trying to see if I see anything else before I put the candle in the uh, letter O or a wheel. I get like a wheel, but the wheel is turning in your favor. gonna put this candle down now Let's see if we see anything else there a letter Z or Z the letter a the number one we also saw that finger where I thought number one and the letter U I think U is to focus on you and a music note, so something might have to do with music. I also get that somebody might have a big dog. The letter X, this also could be pertaining to an X that you might have to release. That might be how, why you have to clear your heart. Or your heart chakra. I also see boots, and I'm getting boots on the ground. I don't know what that means, boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. And an ear, so somebody needs to listen carefully to something, maybe this message. The letter F and the letter C. And that's about it for bowl number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like I said earlier, if you like this channel, please like, share, subscribe. 
If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box as well as all the other information about me. Sending love and blessings to you all. Have a wonderful September. Namaste. All right, welcome bowl number two. If you chose the green bowl and the white candle, we are gonna begin your reading. So I want you to take a deep breath with me now while I pour the water. Just give me, they keep going out. They must be, must have got wet. Here we are. If you'd like to take a minute with me. See what I get from messages here. It looks like an eye with an eyebrow, like somebody's kind of giving you like the the whale eye or the stink eye or whatever. Somebody might be watching you. You know, there might be a little bit of gossip. I don't feel like it's going to affect you in any way. But if you feel like you have this as confirmation, and I get the like a half moon, so something might have to do with the moon or being outside at night. Looks like a man down here handing a jar or a bowl or something to somebody. So you might be presented with some kind of a gift or an offer of some kind. <laughs> Get a squeaky chair in the background. <laughs> The letter M, a big letter M. Also, this letter M, it looks like two cupids or two cherubs holding hearts. So it, maybe it's not the letter M, it's just two cherubs holding hearts, the way I see it now. So a uh, partnership, a love relationship, question mark. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> no pun intended, but a question mark. <laughs> so you might be questioning something. Uh, something might just, maybe the divine doesn't want you to know. It's interesting. And I get like, you see this? It looks like kind of a, a curvy road or a, I don't know what you call it but there might be some kind of a twist or a bend in the road that you have to take that you didn't expect. The letter E. Looks like a goalpost football season started, at least here in the United States, our football with the, not soccer, but I know other countries call our American football, they call it their soccer football, we call it soccer here. And either way, something like that to do with that. And this looks like an old man with a beard repairing some kind of a motorized, like a scooter or a bike or something like that. So you might have to make repairs or take Something like that, a motorbike or a scooter or a regular bicycle or even a car. Almost looks like a car now. Might need some minor repairs. The letter V and the number two. The letter K.
I also got that little old man just turned upside down. I feel like somebody might be turning themselves like upside down trying to help somebody. And just take it at its own pace and do what you can is the message I'm getting. I also see it looks like a man here with his hand out like and you might meet somebody that's important that you have to shake hands with. Like I feel like, you know, possibly maybe a business situation, somebody new coming into your circle that's very business-like. Maybe a business partnership. And there's a woman here, and she's looking at something that she's holding in her hands, like very, so you might have to look at something a little closer. A situation I get that you'll have to look at a little bit closer. I also get glasses or sunglasses. Um, somebody might need to get their eyes checked. Maybe they've been wearing the cheetah glasses to the limit like I have. <laughs> I have uh, cheetah glasses at home, in my purse, and at work, and my everywhere I have them. And it's like, why don't you just go to the eye doctor? You know, I used to go all the time. And I know that I didn't have a problem with my eyes before, so I started, instead of spending three, four hundred dollars at the eye doctor, they're like, you just get cheetah glasses. And if you need, and I had these bifocals that were lineless. And I was, I was having the hardest time. So I ended up just getting cheetah glasses, which worked for my optometrist. But now, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> so I wear cheetah glasses everywhere. Anyway, and I can still see. I just, if something's really close, I can't see. I can, I'm farsighted. I guess. <laughs> right. And there's a turtle here, so you might feel like a situation is moving very slowly. And I guess somebody, they're almost like doing a split, but it's like yoga to me or something. You might have started to meditate or do yoga or gymnastics or some kind of exercise with a lot of stretching and movement of the body in that way. If not, it's, a, it's telling you to try it. A little airplane down here, so travel. Maybe a flight somewhere. I don't feel like it's a super long flight, but I feel like it's a flight. Maybe a couple of hours. I also get, I don't know if you can see this. What's the young Simpson's name? There's Bart, Bart Simpson, right here. Somebody might be a Simpson fan, so I don't know if you can see it. Right over here. See him? It's Bart. So Bart Simpson, for anybody that, I think we got something like that before when I first started doing candle readings. But I think it was the Powerpuff Girls or something like that. This is Bart Simpson that's clearly Bart Simpson right there. <laughs> so somebody might be a big Simpsons fan. The letter D. A sofa, I feel like somebody, it probably feels like I do lately, although I haven't really hit my couch. I never even sit on my couch half the time. But somebody might be hitting the couch watching movies. I also, oh, up here I get an angel, so I feel like an angel is watching over you. I 
Uh, there's a lady here holding her hand up, waving. So I get somebody, uh, there's another guy shaking his hand. Maybe you'll get some new neighbors or a new coworker or a new friend that you'll be meeting soon. One of them's very professional. It might be a couple. And then now that I say a couple, over here I see a couple embracing. So you might be meeting somebody that you're going to fall in love with or somebody that you know that you haven't seen that you're going to embrace, have a big embrace with. You see the lady waving down here? You see Bart Simpson? The lady waving, the couple. The sofa. ears ringing my right ear is ringing like crazy right now the letter s and i see it looks like a man here with his legs up like he's sitting on the ground with his legs like raised up so somebody might have a mobility issue or want to just sit and rest between the sofa and the other thing i saw also get it looks like a snake beware of snakes and I mean it could be a physical snake I don't know if you have poisonous snakes where you live be very careful or a person that's a snake like snaky behavior sneaky behavior all right I'm gonna put this down see if I can get anything else I get the number seven up here that might be significant Looks like one of those giant squirt guns, so maybe you'll be having some fun outside, something like that. I get a crab, somebody might be a cancer sign in this reading. I also have, it looks like a rooster head. To me, that means morning, waking up. Somebody might get up very early, like with the roosters. I know I do. Um, something like that. And we did get Bart Simpson over here, but now up here, it kind of reminds me of the Starship Enterprise. So somebody might be a real big Trekkie. Don't ask me. And I get a butterfly transformation. I'm trying to see if I see anything else. I really don't see too much else. So I think I'm gonna end this reading because I really don't see anything else. No more letters or numbers. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Have a wonderful September. Sending love and blessings to you all. Namaste.